Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over solving systems of linear equations by setting them equal to each other. Because I'm currently teaching math in Berlin, Germany, I also put down that this in German is known as the gleich Setzungsverfahren, which is translated to the setting them equal to each other method. In this video, I'm going to go over two examples. In the next video, I'll go over one more example. There's kind of an infinite number of possibilities, but I'm going to go over some basic examples, exposure to three different types of problems, two in this one, next another one in the next video. We want to solve these two linear equations. This is the equation for a line, y equals 2x minus 11. This is the equation for a line, y equals 3x minus 14. We want to solve these two equations, and what we want to do in a sense is find what single pair of x and y coordinates, x and y values, are a solution to this equation and are also a solution to this equation. And because these are lines, what we're really also doing is we're finding the point where these two lines intersect each other. And we're going to do that by setting them equal to each other. So I like to write down the first equation, write down the second equation, draw a line under them, and think, what do I need to do to set these equal to each other? Well, I need to solve both equations for the same variable. And you can see in this relatively simple example, both equations are already solved for y. That means that if 2x minus 11 equals y and 3x minus 14 also equals y, then 2x minus 11 is equal to 3x minus 14. So I'm just going to write them down, solve them both the same variable, then write down and set those two equal to each other, which means I put down 2x minus 11 is equal to 3x minus 14. I just took this part and wrote it down and I set it equal to this part. That's setting them equal to each other or gleich Zetzungsverfahren. Now you can see I've gotten rid of, eliminated the y's. I have x's, I can solve for x. I'm going to take all the x values and move them to the left hand side, all the constants and move them to the right hand side. To do that, I'm going to take this 3x and move it to the other side. That means I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. 2x plus minus 3x is minus x minus 11, because I still have my minus 11, don't forget that. On the other side of the equal sign, 3x plus minus 3x is 0, and then you're left with minus 14. Now we're going to take the minus 11 and move it to the other side, to the right-hand side. That means I'm going to add 11 to both sides. When I do that, I get minus x on the left-hand side, because this goes to 0. Minus 14 plus 11 is minus 3. And now you can say I have minus x equals minus 3. Well, I don't want to know what minus x is. I want to know what x is. There's really a 1 in front of here. So when you have minus x or minus y, you just divide both sides by minus 1, and you get x equals 3. Now we have found the x value by setting them equal to each other. I'm going to take this x value and substitute it into either this equation or this equation, solve for y, and then I'll have both the x and the y values. It doesn't matter whether I take the x and put it in this equation or in this equation, you'll get the same answer. I'm going to use the top one, y equals 2x minus 11. I'm going to write that down again, take the x out, substitute the y, excuse me, take the x out, substitute 3 in for x because I know x is equal to 3. y equals 6 minus 11, that means y equals minus 5. Now I know that the point that is the solution to this equation and this equation, the point that lies on both of these lines where they intersect is simply x equals 3, y equals minus 5. <clears throat> Excuse me, am I 100% sure? Well, I'm pretty sure, but we can actually check it. So let's check it right here. The way we're going to check it is we're going to take this pair of coordinates and set them into this, substitute them into this equation, and then into this equation, and hopefully this equal sign will hold true. The first equation is y equals 2x minus 11. Substitute the x and the y value in. x is 3, y is minus 5. Solve, and you can see that this equal sign, minus 5, is true because minus 5 equals minus 5. So we're pretty sure this equation, this point is on this line. Well, let's check and see if it's also on the other line. Write down the other equation, plug in the x and y values, solve, and once again you get minus 5 equals minus 5. Now we know that this point is a solution to both of these equations. This point is the place where these two lines intersect. Our second example. Now, in the previous example, we solved both equations, or they were already solved for y. Now, you can see in this case, we have coefficients in front of all of our variables, 4x, 8x, minus 4, and 2. But we don't have to solve for x or y. In this case, the easiest thing to do, and there's multiple ways to do this, is to simply solve each equation for 4x. We have 4x and minus 4x. 
it's pretty easy to change this minus 4x to 4x so we can solve both the equations for 4x and then set them equal to each other. How are we going to do that? Well, let's take this equation first and write it down over here. 4x plus 8y equals 20. We want to solve this equation we decided for 4x. We're going to take the 8y, move it to the other side. That means we're going to subtract 8y from both sides. And we get 4x equals minus 8y plus 20. So now we know that 4x is equal to this. And now we can solve the other equation also for 4x. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of hold that there. I'm going to come back over here. In order to change this from minus 4x to 4x, what I need to do is I need to multiply the whole equation by minus 1. I can't just multiply the 4x. i got to multiply the whole equation, all three of these terms, by minus 1. When I do that, minus 4x times minus 1 is 4x. 2y or plus 2y times minus 1 is minus 2y and equals minus 30 times minus 1, which becomes 30. Now you can see I have my 4x here, I have my 4x here, I just have to solve this equation, move this minus 2y to the other side, add 2y to both sides, and you see that in this case, 4x is equal to 2y plus 30. So now you can see I have both equations solved for the same variable, the same thing, and now I can set them to each other. I have this 2y plus 30 minus 8y plus 20. I'm going to write the first one down equals the second one. I didn't change anything. I'm just setting them equal to each other. And now you can see we've eliminated the x. We have the y. I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring this equation and my original equations over to the next page. So all I have is my original equations I started out with. This is my Gleichstätzungs for far, and I set one side equal to the other. I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to bring all my y values to the left, all my constants to the right-hand side. I like to work with the y values, the variables first. So I'm going to add 8y to both sides. Now I have 10y plus 30. Here's 10y plus 30 equals, this goes away because minus 8 plus 8 is 0, equals 20. Now, I can solve for my y again. I have plus 30. I'm going to move the constants to the other side, to the right-hand side. I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. And I get that 10y equals minus 10. All right. Now, I have 10y. That means I'm going to divide both sides by 10. And I get that y equals 1. 10 over 10 is 1. Minus 10 divided by 10 is minus 1. So we're going to have 1y equals minus 1 or y equals minus 1. Now, just like I did in the previous example, I solve for x. This time I solve for y. I'm going to substitute the y value into one of these two equations solve for x. I'll get my x value. I minus 1 is the top one. That way I don't have to worry about this negative sign. It doesn't matter which one. So I have 4x plus 8y. I took the y out. I put the minus 1 in equals 20. 4x minus 8 because 8 times minus 1 is minus 8 equals 20. I'm going to take the 8, move it to the other side, the minus 8, actually move it to the other side, add 8 to both sides. I get 4x, because minus 8 plus 8 is 0, is equal to 28. Divide both sides by 4, and you get that x equals 7. All right, Whew. now we know the x and the y value, that is the solution to this equation and this equation, and that is also the point where these two lines intersect. That is x equals 7, y equals minus 1. Am I 100% sure? Well, let's just check it. Take both equations, start with the first one, x, 4x plus 8y equals 20, substitute in the x value 7, the y value minus 1, and see if you get that equal sign. You get 20 equals 20. Now we can do the second one, 4x minus 4x plus 2y equals minus 30. Substitute the x and the y values in, and you get minus 30 equals minus 30. Now that's your check. These were both true. Now you're pretty certain that you have the right answer. This point is a solution to this equation and this equation. Okay? That is how you do solving systems of equations by setting them equal to each other. I said in the next video, I have one more example, a little more challenging example. You can watch that one if you like. You can link to it right here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, if you found it helpful, please do all the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment in the positive comment section below. 
Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.